Hi everybody and welcome. I am here today. This is Jenny K. Parks at the ACQ meeting. It's at the end. It's all quiet and calm now. And all the this, bags are out the door. All the bags are out the door. My bags are packed. Okay, sorry. And this is Jan. <laughs> Sounds like a song. It does. <laughs> this is Jan Krentz. And I have yes. to say, I am so excited to meet you. I mean, I met you and I just about geeked out right there. Because I remember. We won't tell her, will we? <laughs> <laughs> I remember checking out this book from the library myself. Yes. And drooling over it and thinking, oh, I would love to do that. And at that time, I did not have any They're pretty thing fun. that I could do for a design They're wall. pretty fun to make. You are so inspiring. I mean, I'm just like, I, but it's, just it's amazing. traditional patchwork. That's the thing that yeah. I love about it. Yes. You use fun yes. fabric and you do simple pieced work. Yes. Yeah. So tell me a little bit kind of about how your process. So maybe you start with the panel or you start with something. How do you come up with the idea for it? Inspiration book? comes from all different levels. So occasionally you start with the fabric. Mm -hmm. You fall in love with it. Lately, for the past year, I've been playing around with um, One Block Wonder and Stack and Whack. But it's not something that I was doing because I was mm -hmm. making class samples and writing in my own style. I was doing that at home by myself. You uh -huh. know? So um, I approached the other instructor to see if she would be okay with me teaching it, and that's why I'm here. Anyway, um, I begin at a start point, no matter where, where you might be. If mm -hmm. there is a need, for instance, if the publisher says, we need you to do this, uh -huh, okay. that is the catalyst, and it's always um, with a teaching viewpoint. I also fall in love with fabric just like it, anybody yes. does and sometimes you just have to cut it yeah. you have to you have to make something out of it um, the third thing is occasionally I see a need in class uh, for instance yes. when all of the students were showing up with one block one no um, turning 20 and yellow brick road and very simple designs where you mm -hmm. take a square or a rectangle and you cut it a certain number of times and you reassemble. Mm -hmm. They're so intoxicating for people who work full time. They're caring for yes. children and yes. probably elderly parents mm -hmm. and there's, they have a spouse and a home to take care of. So that is speaking to a specific mm. quilter. She needs that beauty and that accomplishment of making something fun and simple and look I have something that I can use at and the, the end. and it's beautiful the fabrics are yes. lovely so uh -huh. that type of a, a, a quilter needs something that's simple they mm -hmm. need something that looks attractive when they're finished mm -hmm. and that kind of led me to looking at traditional quilt blocks okay. the kind our grandmothers made were very small and a lot yes. of times it had to do with the scale of the fabric pieces they could get their hands on mm -hmm the fabric was either cutting scraps from new garments or it was leftover pieces from worn garments oh, and so yeah, therefore yeah. the pieces were small right and sometimes if you look at an antique quilt and you have a shape that's maybe an yes. inch and a half there might be five little pieces of fabric that made that inch and a half it's Amazing. really humbling yes. and you know <laughs> it makes me think we have such a gross abundance of everything of food yes. of fabric of um, mm -hmm. you know good weather and and kind friends so uh, to me I think that we obsess over things we shouldn't we should just enjoy the process amen sister I love it I love um, it so writing a couple of the books they were focused on simplicity how can you get really exciting fun to sew fun looking designs mm -hmm. but go right back to traditional patchwork right and so I think um, even though we're in a tradition or a trend right now where we have younger sewers and they're young moms and they have great cameras so it's they exciting. blog a lot uh -huh. uh, they also still need to start with the basics and yes. so you have to get those somehow it's a good point good point so they whether you're doing go together applique where you apply something on a base fabric or you sew two fabrics together side by side mm -hmm. everything we wear everything we use in our homes you know that's soft is fabric yeah. whether it's towels or curtains or aprons or clothing it's all fabric mm -hmm. so it's a good fit wonderful wonderful yeah. thank you so much this has been such a gift to have you here Thank with you. us. I've learned so much and so inspired. I'm very excited. I want to go home right now and start a stack. She wants back. to go cut fabric and I sew do. her brains I out. Do. <laughs> but it's almost 10. So <laughs> This is my personal conviction. I think that sewing in your pajamas has got to be part of the equation. Uh, and chocolate, you know, 
And if things go wrong, I just turn the machine off, I stand up, I go eat chocolate, or go have a cup and of coffee. And you come back, yeah. <gasps> Perfect, and then yeah. you come back. Mm -hmm. yes. Sure. And I like how, how we're kind of matching. Yes, here. yes, we planned Ta -da! this. You got the memo. Good. Mm -hmm. Thank All right. you. Well, thanks, you guys. Thank you, Jan, You're for welcome. joining me and for coming here to ACQ. Wonderful to have you. I love and Colorado. I, oh, I'll yes. come back anytime. You're welcome here anytime. Yeah. All right, you guys, thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye.